What does LCM actually mean? It's simple. It's the least common multiple. But what is the least common multiple of numbers? Some of you may already know how we can find the least common multiple of numbers. But do we know what it actually means? Let us try to understand the three words individually. Least, common and multiple. We go backwards. What is a multiple of a number? Let's say we want to find the LCM of 15 and 20. Let me explain what multiples mean. 15 multiplied by 1 equals 15. So 15 is one of the multiples of 15. 15 multiplied by 2 equals 30. 30 is also one of the multiples of 15. 15 multiplied by 3 equals 45, which is also a multiple of 15. Remember, a number has infinite multiples. Let us write down the first 8 multiples of 15. 15 times 4 is 60. 15 times 5 is 75. 15 times 6 is 90. 15 times 7 is 105. And 15 times 8 is 120. These are the first 8 multiples of 15. Similarly, let us write down the first 8 multiples of the second number, which is 20. So these 8 numbers here, 20, 40, 60 and so on are the multiples of 20. So now we know what multiple means. What does common mean? We look for common multiples of the number. We can see that 60 is present in both. Even 120 is present in both. 60 and 120 are two of the many common multiples of 15 and 20. So now we know what common multiples are. Now we get to the first word, which is least. So out of all the common multiples, we choose the one which is least. It's simple. 60 is the least common multiple. So the LCM of 15 and 20 is 60. This was shown just to clear your concept of LCM. But is this the way we calculate the LCM of numbers? No, it isn't. Because when large numbers are involved, it is difficult to find the multiples of each and then find the least common multiple. Next, we will look at different ways in which we can solve for the LCM of numbers.